Hi again, this is Roxanne, your retired teacher, sharing a story with you. This one is entitled, Happiness is a Warm Blanket, Charlie Brown, and it's by Charles M. Schultz. And happiness uh, can be different things to different people. So we'll hear this story and see what happiness is to Linus. And of course, if you know him, you already know what happiness is to him. Linus loved his blanket. It made him feel safe and secure. It soaked up all of his fears and frustrations. Linus didn't like to be away from his blanket ever. Not even when his sister Lucy decided it was time to clean it. Wash day, Lucy would shout. It's in the rinse cycle, she'd say as Linus began to sweat. And finally, it's in the spin cycle. At last, Linus would get his blanket back. But lately, Linus's friends had begun teasing him about his blanket. They thought it was silly and got in the way. You and that dumb blanket, Schroeder yelled. I can't stand it, said Charlie Brown. Even Sally, who loved everything about Linus, had something to say about his blanket. You're my sweet Fabu, she told Linus, but I could like you even more if you'd give up that blanket. Only Charlie Brown's dog, Snoopy, understood how great Linus's blanket really was, and he wanted it for himself. I linger on the pages because my student on the pictures because my students would always be I want to see the picture I didn't see the picture so I want to make sure you get to see it Linus had an even bigger problem than teasing or a jealous dog his grandmother was coming to visit grandma didn't like Linus's blanket one bit Lucy began to pester Linus more than ever if you don't give up that dumb blanket, she said, Grandma's going to cut it into a thousand pieces. Linus had to find a way to give up his blanket before Grandma came. But how? Linus tried a substitute, but that had drawbacks. Lucy locked the blanket in a closet but Linus couldn't stay away. You'd better give it back, Charlie Brown told Lucy. What makes you say that, Charlie Brown, Lucy asked. And if you look at Linus, he's not doing well without his blanket, is he? Grandma's visit was just a few days away and nothing seemed to work. Linus was not going to give up his blanket. But someone else had other plans. Snoopy! Linus screamed. Linus chased Snoopy everywhere, but Snoopy made a daring escape. Seeing Linus's blanket fly through the air gave Lucy an idea. I wonder what her idea is. Lucy made a kite out of Linus's blanket to keep it away from him, but Linus wasn't fooled. My blanket, Linus yelled. Things only got worse for Linus when Lucy let go of the kite. Linus watched his beloved blanket float off into the air.
Linus's blanket was really gone this time. Staring up at the great big sky, he felt sadder than he ever had. I bet I'll never see my blanket again, he said. Not a blanket in sight. Still, Linus had to try to get his blanket back. He asked Charlie Brown to help him put an ad in the paper. Lost. One light blue blanket in the shape of a kite. Please return. Owner, desperate. Even though his good friend Charlie Brown stayed by his side, Linus could barely sleep without his blanket. He kept thinking about it, wondering. where it could be. Soon Linus got some good news. It was a telegram from the Air Rescue Service. They found my blanket, he told Charlie Brown. They are mailing it back to me. Linus was thrilled to get his blanket back, but his happiness did not last long. Grandma was arriving that day, and Lucy had come up with a surefire way of curing Linus of his blanket habit once and for all. I buried it, she said. Linus dug and dug and dug, but he could not find his blanket. Just when things seemed hopeless, Linus's blanket seemed to find him. You see who helped him? It was time for Linus to face Grandma. She was not happy that Linus still had his blanket, but Linus stood his ground. I need this blanket, he told Grandma. It's the only real security I have. After all, everyone had someone or something that helped them get through the day. It wasn't just Linus with his blanket. Sally had her sweet babu, Linus. Schroeder had his piano, Lucy had Schroeder. Snoopy had his dinner bowl. Even Grandma had her coffee. Linus made a good argument for keeping his blanket. But Grandma would not listen. Hand it over, Linus asked. You want me to hand it over? Sure enough, Grandma took his blanket away. But Grandma didn't really get Linus's blanket. He had swapped it with a dish towel and tricked her. After Grandma had gone, Linus got out his real blanket. Charlie Brown was happy for Linus. Everything went back to normal and Linus's blanket was safe. Still, Linus was a little sad to see Grandma go. I'm going to miss the thrill of the chase, he told Charlie Brown. Luckily for Linus, someone would always want his blanket. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you find happiness even though we're uh, staying home. I hope you are staying home and if we have to go out, we're wearing our masks. Uh, be safe out there and have a wonderful day. Bye.